Hello, I'm going to show you how I upgraded one old 775 socket system to a quad core CPU or chip. Now the system is able to run any application, multitasking uh, and even gaming. Of course, now it can play full HD video, either a flash player, I mean like uh, YouTube, or any other full HD video, if it's MKV or whatever. All this with the onboard graphics card. This uh, G31 chipset motherboard with an onboard uh, graphics card. All we have to do is to cut two socket tabs and install an adapter to the CPU. It's an easy modification and this way we'll gain a cheaper CPU Xeon Sharp cheaper than Core 2 quads and a faster CPU as Xeons uh, are faster and they can overclock like no other Add to this that Xeons are energy efficient this is a bare bone system this means it has a small PSU, a slim case, and we will use a very small heatsink. Out of the previous CPU it was using, a Pentium dual core. So, with this mod, we only did the CPU and the adapter, of course. No other requirement. So, go into little steps and cut those socket tabs and with, that, with uh, some patience they are easily cut. You can then use tweezers or just blow the socket so the leftovers go away. The magnifier helps a lot so to check if the socket tabs are clear. helps also installing the adapter to the CPU. Now we will install a quad-core Xeon and E54201 which is cheap and fast also. It fits there just like normal now that the, that the socket that it fits now there as normal as the socket tabs so now it fits there as normal observe the arrow mark of the CPU to match the arrow mark of the socket. This way the CPU is orientated the right way. Of course the letters must be readable from the socket uh, locking mechanism side like this. So now the system is ready to run on a quad-core CPU with the best quality as Xeons are meant for the professional use on servers. Okay, here's the old 775 system I have created to a Xeon quad. It's a very bone system, it means the PC case is slim, the PSU is small, and the heat sink I have used is out of the Pentium dual core it was using before. So the only thing changed was the CPU. There would be no problem because.
because all zeons are very energy efficient. So neither the heatsink or the PSU uh, needs to be upgraded. Let me power on the system and show you the BIOS that the CPU is supported. It's recognized properly. the CPU, the new CPU, so now we will load Windows, this CPU made this system be really fast, capable of running any application, running smoothly, uh, YouTube, I mean Flash Player uh, in full HD mode because this system has an onboard graphics card and uh, before it was not capable of running smoothly uh, for its video. Four cores and Intel Xeon inside. Now in your system, better than an old two quad. Four cores, SSC 4.1. Note that it, you may have to model into the BIOS. It's a very simple, simple job. This is the main board. Asus P5PKL DM and that's the bare bone system. Let me move closer the camera. So, with this chip upgrade, maybe cheaper than upgrading the graphics card, uh, this system has many years more to be fast and capable of running any application. You don't have to upgrade to any old system, because now you can have four cores with a, a very good uh, speed. That's all. I have nothing to add than enjoy your new fast system. Thank you.